happening tonight an effort to raise awareness about breast cancer. The Fayetteville Manlius ice hockey team is participating in this year's pink in the rink game to benefit the Carol Baldwin Breast Cancer Foundation. Joining us live here in the studio this morning, we have Valerie and Dante Capriati who are organizing the event uh, and a bunch of the guys who are going to be playing this year. Hey, good morning to good all morning. of you. Tell us a little bit, Valerie, I'll start with you, what this is all about. Well, um, we just wanted to, um, our community, start our part in the fight against breast cancer. Obviously, this has touched your community quite a bit. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, in general, um, cancer has really touched our community in the last few years. Um, Mrs. Chase, Nancy Chase, lost her battle in November of this year. Another friend of the boys lost his 19-year-old brother to leukemia just about a month before that. Um, a year or two before that, we lost our priests at St. Anne's that were all, you know, very passionate about being at St. Anne's. And then prior to that, another friend of theirs lost their father. And we just decided that as a community, we should start putting our fight up there against it. So Dante, this started as kind of a small concept. You guys were selling a few t-shirts here and there, and it grew into something pretty big. Were you surprised by the reaction and kind of the outpouring of support from the community? Yeah, I expected we'd sell a decent amount of t-shirts, but then after um, the final sales were over, I was really surprised at how many we sold and how many people still wanted more after we were done selling. Yeah, and so what has this taught you? I mean, obviously, you know, you're a young guy, how old are you? 16, 17? 17. 17. Uh, what has this kind of taught you at, at such a young age? Well, it's taught me that, like, um, once you start with something, just keep going. Uh, it'll grow. Even if it starts out looking small, just keep pushing for it, and if it's especially for, for a good cause. Yeah, and, and Valerie, what does this mean to you, you know, knowing that there have been so many tremendous losses and, and that cancer has affected your community so deeply uh, out in Fayetteville Manlius? What does this mean to you, knowing that so many people are stepping forward to help? It's, it's amazing the amount of people that have stepped forth. Um, we really thought we'd sell a couple hundred t-shirts, and I keep going back to the place that I ordered, and I'm like, I need, I need another hundred <laughs> t-shirts because every day we basically sell out of them and I think it teaches the kids that it, once you get going just keep don't give up and I think Nancy was the epitome of that don't ever give up and that's um, chase your dreams that's kind of our our little logo for this um, chase your dreams Nancy chase and we have you know we're selling quite a few things and we just putting more and more effort towards it and well. I think it teaches the boys Good lesson. Yeah, very valuable lesson, certainly. We want to get some folks some information uh, if you're interested in participating or uh, maybe going to the game. The game's going to be held at the Onondaga Nation Arena at 7.45 p.m. Uh, Carol Baldwin will actually be dropping the puck before the game, and there will be a presentation at her foundation. Uh, to her foundation, rather, at the end of the first period. They're expecting a large crowd, and uh, again, they've sold over 900 Pink in the Rink t-shirts for the game. All the proceeds are being donated to the Baldwin Foundation in memory, uh, again, of one of the hockey moms, Nancy Chase from Manlius. So we thank you all so much for being thank here this you. morning. Yes. Best of luck with the event, and guys, thank we you. know you're going to do well. <laughs> all right.